Hello everyone, this is Dose of Darkness, and today I'm reviewing Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 4, Arachnids in the UK. And so we come off the previous episode, which was brilliant, and I really just sang the praises of it throughout the previous review. And then we get this one, and it's not terrible. Not very good, though. To be frank, this is the worst episode of this series so far, by some distance. Certainly the most forgettable. It feels like it's part of the template now. In the last few years, you kind of get the introductory episode, then a sort of future-y, sort of sci-fi type episode, and then a historical episode, then you kind of got a horror type one. Like, you got Listen, you got Knock Knock, and things like that. And that's something that tends to work quite well in Doctor Who, but this is probably one of the least effective horror-themed episodes of Doctor Who in general. And before we go any further, let's talk about the Doctor, because while I found her quite entertaining in the first two episodes, and I did enjoy the more subdued take in the third episode, but here she's centre stage, hectic and excitable and all that, and I really didn't enjoy it. Honestly, I found her quite grating in this episode. It seems like her main role is just to roll off jokes that are not funny. It's like she's trying too hard to be the Doctor, if that makes sense. Obviously, it's not Jodie Whittaker's fault, but the Doctor, you know, oh, well, the Doctor knows loads of historical figures. She mentions it every now and then, so... Having her do that all the time, and then the stuff like, oh, are you Ed Sheeran? And it's like, no, come on. I, I'm going to say, you know, I think it is just this episode, because having watched the next few after, I, I didn't find this problem again. But really in this one, yeah, I did find the portrayal of the Doctor quite irritating, if anything. And as this episode's written by Chris Chibnall, it, it's uh, certainly a concern. And then as for the companions, well, it seems that the format that we've been going in the series up to now is that you'll have the Doctor and Yaz doing one thing, and then Ryan and Graham doing another. It's sensible that it's more manageable to have kind of two groups of two rather than everyone together all the time. I kind of wish that they mix it up a little bit more. But again, part of the problem is, uh, up at this point, I'm still not finding Yaz to be particularly an interesting companion. We met some of her family this time around, particularly the mother, but I, I don't know, I just I just don't feel a connection with her. At this point, almost halfway into the series, Yaz is kind of lagging behind. Ryan and Graham, meanwhile, they're, they're fine. They're coming closer together in every episode. It does feel like they're now kind of drawing out the bit where Ryan calls him Grandad. I mean, that's going to come in the finale, isn't it? Because it's certainly not come yet, as far as I've seen after this episode either. So yeah, all the pieces are there from the previous episodes, but it just doesn't really land that well. I don't know if he was rushed writing this episode or something, but it just doesn't work as well. The brief of this episode, it feels like it was... Oh, I know, spiders are scary, so let's do a spider episode. A and that's about it. Like, taking something normal and making it a threat is a fairly common thing in Doctor Who, uh, starting with the Autons, and then Stephen Moffat kind of did it with everything he touched. But yeah, this just really doesn't work with me. I'm I'm not scared of spiders, so maybe, <laughs> you know, they, they're basically just another disposable monster. I guess if you were arachnophobic, this would be a, a difficult episode to watch. But for me, yeah, I just don't find them very scary or intimidating at all. However, the one thing I did enjoy from the Doctor was the way that she kind of tried to treat them with respect. She was like, you know, these are just creatures. They're going about their day. This sort of toxic stuff has made them big. But they're just living the way that they would normally live. And then the humans obviously not understanding it. Because as humans, what do you think when you see a spider? You think, oh, I know, I'm going to kill it. But then we've got this American character whose name escapes me. Basically, he's Donald Trump, isn't he? I know he mentions he wants to run against Donald Trump, which is an amusing thought, as someone's wants to run in 2020 for the US presidency, and they're going to run against Trump on the platform of being the aggressive candidate. Interesting, <laughs> uh, to say the least. But yeah, fairly obvious satire here. He's a businessman who runs hotels, he wants to be president. He's kind of okay as a sapphire. I feel like he's in it a bit too much and doesn't really get the depth as a character. Though the bit, you know, where he shoots the spider is, you know, a quick but appropriate resolution to the story. 
kind of, he gets the job done, but not in a good way. But yeah, like this episode as a whole, it's really just kind of bland and forgettable. And it was obvious that the companions were going to continue going with the Doctor after... The whole business of them was a bit drawn out and silly. It kind of reminds me of the whole thing with Martha in the Lazarus experiment where the Doctor was just taking her home and then he goes, oh, go on, come with me. Coincidentally, that's also a bit of a rubbish episode. Maybe this is a pattern. But all in all, yeah, this is... It's not an absolute train wreck, but it's not a good episode either. It's certainly not one I'm going to be re-watching all that often. I can say that with some confidence. To summarise, it's a little bit crap. So, that's what I've got to say about Arachnids in the UK. What did you think about it? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below the video. And while you're down there, please like this video if you did. And if you liked it, then check out my other videos and subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you for watching.